Today we have a compilation of the news that came with the announcement as well as the release of the beta for The War Within. Many of these are about the next expansion from the delves to the dungeon to the raids and some of the mechanics and the game systems that will be available in the next expansion. However, we are starting from the most important one we have added in this expansion, which is the self-highlight mode. Now, you can actually put an outline around your character and even a circle around your character to be active at all times you know for players who have trouble uh, finding their players or even their position across 75 different swirlies particle effects etc etc now this one perhaps makes it a little bit easier for you to find your character maybe even maybe even fit with one of your transmogs you know some light team some light or white team transmog this might even actually make it better now first thing down the list is we have the confirmation that the first raid in the next expansion which is going to be the narrow bar palace is going to have the story mode added yes it's not available yet in the dungeon journal so we still don't get to actually know what it does we know it can be done solo, it can be done with up to 10 players, but you can also do it solo. We don't know exactly if it actually drops loot, some kind or some sort of loot, or if it is just as advertised just for the story and just for the experience of going into the raid only. One thing for those still on the fence on whether or not it's worth to buy the super mega epic edition to get the three days early access to the release of the expansion, Blizzard has made Heroic dungeons not available at the release of the expansion if you have the pre-order, if you have the early access, three days early access. As you know, of course, it could be advantageous for you to gobble up as much gear as possible right before Mythic Plus opens and after Blizzard has upscaled the item level of the difficulty of dungeons by making a mythic zero dungeon now be the same as a plus 10 so now heroic is the same as mythic zero they don't want players with early access to get an advantage over players without when it comes to collecting gear the early access should just be mostly for for leveling basically then we have a return we have a return of some kind of um, seasonal event you might have been aware already this has happened a long time ago all the way back in Wrath of the Lich King if you remember back when Blizzard released Wrath of the Lich King they had a few achievements initially time limited or we should say season limited in this case for raids we are talking about the first season glory of the raider meta achievement you had rewards such as for example the mortal which were going to go away once the next season back then we didn't have seasons but back when the next patch would launch for delves for now it looks like we have something similar because for now the achievements listed for delves are into feet of strength they are gonna be a limited edition which reads to defeat essentially the last boss the last boss of the last level of the delves either the normal version the heroic upgraded version either solo or in a group until the release of the next season of delves so it's a it's a seasonal type of reward you cannot go back in this delve with 50 more item levels in the next season and just steamroll through this delve we also have a gameplay binding addition, not really anything to do with the expansion itself, but rather with the system, precisely the system of crests. Because Blizzard, after showering us with loot, you have to be honest, you might have enjoyed it in Dragonflight, but we were literally thrown gear after us by Blizzard. They are, they are slowing down a bit in the War Within, because now the cap, the limit, the threshold for you to get the max item level loot from Mythic Plus is now a plus nine no longer a plus six this was a particularly useful threshold or it has been right now because plus six right now means you get to get max item level loot from mythic plus without having to deal with the third affix of mythic plus so that is getting fixed in the war within you have to get three higher key levels of difficulty plus of course also deal with the third affix of mythic plus if you want the highest level reward from the activity which seems logical a bit of an update on dragon riding which blizzard has you know updated in this new expansion to be called sky riding since the dragon expansion is over 
you now have the option to choose between the you know flight styles the normal one the steady flight which is the you know current ones you are using and the sky riding which is the one we have been using all of dragonflight which has been updated of course to be used on most mounts they have you know slightly modified the dragon riding trees that you have available for the for the skill points but now you know you can pick one of the currently non dragon riding mounts like for example not this guy probably this guy you mount it up and now he can you know dragon ride normally like your other mounts now another thing that has been happening in this expansion or this upcoming expansion rather is an interesting change from blizzard which they have went on to specify they felt the need you know up to now most of the things i told you have been simply data mined so the community got to know about them but this one though blizzard felt the need to put to put a little bit of a of a specification on what's going down What's going down is that practically all of the damage, all of the DPS trinkets are being nerfed by 30% in damage or in effectiveness if you are a tank or if you are a healer. Essentially, Blizzard's explanation is that the trinket version for tanks should be more along the lines of deal some damage and then also give you some defensive benefit. However, if the damage you do is tuned to be the same damage that a DPS trinket could do, then all of the DPS players are going to use the tank trinket, because then they will also gain the value of giving you some tankiness. One of the obvious examples that we are just moving away from that became even bigger since in this season players had access to the bullion, allowing them to handpick what they wanted, was the Tainted Rage Heart the damage is tuned to be in line with the DPS trinket, except the Rage Art is also giving you a 1.7 million damage absorb shield. That's a bit of a cheat if that is also used by a DPS player. So their, their logic is we're just nerfing the damage so we make sure the DPS players stick to pure DPS trinkets and tank players move for tank trinkets mostly for their defensiveness. If they want to use a trinket for damage, then they have to they have to leave behind the tank part, the defensiveness part of, of the trinket. That was the logic behind this change coming in the war within. Of course, it feels a little bit annoying. Players would like to have, for example, worthwhile trinkets to use, both for tanks, but especially for healers, because tanks, in the end, do have some pretty sick defensive, you know, cheat death kind of cooldowns on trinkets that they can always use and have been using for a while. Healers, though, have had much worse trinkets, much worse ways to make healing trinkets usable. Nowadays, the only viable ones are huge absorb shields to throw to players as a defense mechanism. But outside of those, all of those HPS trinkets or even worse, mana regen trinkets turn out to be completely useless in Mythic Plus. So that's a problem if you also nerf the, the DPS trinkets for, for healers, especially in Mythic Plus. It's not, this is not too big of a deal in the raid when it comes to, when it comes to healers. Now, the last of the point is the despair about hunters. I hope that by now, since this news came about 24 hours ago, you already you were already made aware of this if you were a hunter and you haven't spent all this time in despair, or maybe you didn't even know about the changes to the specs in the War Within, so you didn't even have time to be disappointed that Hunter was left behind completely from the news. Well, good news, Blizzard came up with a statement pointing out that Hunter has received basically no changes so far, but there are some changes for the Hunter talent trees. For all of the specs, survival, marksmanship, and beast mastery, that will be pushed in the next update, in the next build of the War Within beta. So that's a thing coming soon for, for Hunters as a whole. So you have time yet to be disappointed. In the meantime, keep huffing your hopium, hoping for some good changes for the class. But these, these were pretty much all of the changes coming down so far in the War Within right after it was released. Besides everything we have already pointed out about the tier sets being data mined and a few of the changes to the specs and classes, we have now collected all of the remaining changes and announcements for now in the War Within beta. 
So waiting for further news as they will surely come along eventually as we get closer to the beginning of summer. It's now time to leave each other on this Friday. Thanks of course as usual for all of the supporters that can still do it completely for free by liking and commenting down below as well as subscribing to the channel itself. Now with these things out of the way, thank you guys again for watching. See you guys tomorrow and in the meantime, why? Why am I so tired? I woke up like nine hours ago. I should be a little bit more lively.